Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Well hey guys, let's, let's get into it real quick. I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes about this guy, this political nuisance uh, called Chilifiate Ali. Now, guys, this is what amazes me about many of his followers. His followers get very upset when, when people talk about him. But for some reason, they give him a pass when he talks about the whole world. I've never really been able to understand that. Honestly, really. I... I'm not able to wrap my brain around that. Why is it that his followers give him a pass when he talks about the whole world, and yet when someone like me, who knows him from A up to Z, and that's the reason he doesn't really respond to me, is because, you know, I got the goods on him, is, as they say. You know, the guilty are ashamed. The guilty do not respond. You know, there, there was a time that Tayali felt that he was the be-all and end-all. But he's not. You know, and, and we're here to challenge that. Not unfairly, purely based on fact. So, so here it is. Let me bring you up to speed. Earlier today, he writes something about the, f the First Lady. And, and we all know there's nothing not to like about Wamatinta. Well, Okay, I mean, I think she's one of the most, one of the most amiable first ladies we've ever had. She's very comely. She's she's pleasant. But Teali found it wise to unfairly attack her. Not only that, he added her daughter, as you know, recently got married in a very lavish wedding, and a wedding. I can't think of any anybody that attacks a wedding day. Can you think of someone that would wake up and say, you know what, let's trash the wedding. Let's let's speak disparagingly of the wedding. Let's let's talk bad about this wedding. Because the reason why regular normal people don't do that is because regular people know and understand that that's a very important day. You never trash a wedding. You don't. But with Tayali, he trashes anything as long as it's linked to HH. So he trashes the, the wedding and, and, and he has to keep in mind that when he was getting married to that Ethiopian girl, nobody trashed him. Nobody trashed him. You know, here it is uh, a short time after he got married because I know the nature of who he is. I told you all that that marriage wouldn't last. Here it is. She's gone off. We don't know if she's here, there, up, down, this, that, and the other. Because he loves to play with his followers. His followers have no idea where his wife is. You know, one day he'll wake up and say, oh, she's on her way. The next day he'll wake up and say, oh, well, she's here, but you can't see her. One day he wakes up and says, oh, I'm going to polish our rings because, you know, our union is unbreakable. The next, you never see them together. And on and on and on. So the reason I'm saying all this is because you don't trash people's weddings. It's a very important day. It's one of the few days that you look back and you realize that day is a very memorable day. But anyway, so he trashes it deliberately, you know, just, just to be a nuisance, okay? And then he tries to justify it by making reference to something that HH said a few years ago when HH said about Tayali, HH said, look, you need to take care of your family. You, instead of running around to and fro like the devil on the face of the earth, trying to find stuff on me. This was, remember, this was back when Tayali was running up and down the country talking about how he was going to go to the ACC and he had irrefutable evidence that HH had obtained land dubiously. 
and that he was going to make sure that HH would not appear on the ballot and that it was his God given intuition to, to make sure that this, this man HH never becomes president. Remember that you running all over the place. Well, that was when HH made reference to him and said, young man, take care of your family. Take care of your family. Your newborn baby needs you as a father. Katari kafulwa. Hey, na ni wale ande pamoja na wandi. So na ni na na pamoja na bobe. And this is what I find disturbing about this guy: is that somehow he thinks that H H is his peer. Are, are you getting that? Do you get that vibe? Let me say that again. Uh, Tayali thinks that HH is his peer. Do you know what a peer is? A peer. Tell me in the comments if you know what a peer is. I, I need to get your, 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 your feedback on this. Tell me what a peer is. Somehow, when Tayali is referring to the current president of this country, he thinks that the president of Zambia is his equal. Okay? That's what a peer is. And so when he speaks about HH, he speaks about him as if, you know, as if HH is not even the Republican president. And that's where the problem is, is that in his misguided mind, he actually thinks that him and HH are on par. When in reality, nothing could be further from the truth. Tayali is as far from HH as the West is from the East. I'm telling you now, Tayali is nowhere close. I mean, there is no comparison. Now, here's what I find strange. Earlier today, he says, he, he made reference to a, a case where a ZAF commander, Zambia Air Force commander, Bachi Messi, has been acquitted of money laundering and, and other things. Tayali says, well, you see, it's very easy to accuse, but oh, it's not easy to convict. He says, the only way I'm going to be convicted is if HH is the prosecution, if HH is the judge. If HH runs the courts, and he's comparing apples to oranges. Brother, your case is a whole lot different from his. When you go to court, you stand on your own. You can't make reference to another case and say, well, you see, he got off. The Zaf commander got off. He was accused of money laundering. They accused him. But oh, lo and behold, he's been acquitted. He's been set free by the same token, the same vein. I am going to be acquitted. Are you crazy? Have you lost your natural mind? You can't compare your case with someone else's case. You stand on your own. All right. I got three minutes before the news. Read a couple of your comments. Peer, someone who is or something that is at a level or a value equal to that of something else. Yes. That's Tayali thinks the Republican president is his peer. And that's that's a problem. Whenever you've got someone who really, the truth is, he has nothing. Everything he is, everything he, he espouses to be, is purely dependent on handouts. Purely. He doesn't work. He can't work. He doesn't have the gumption to work because he doesn't have the capability. He doesn't have the, the wherewithal. He doesn't have the know-how to get up in the morning, go to work, work an eight to five job or start his own business, be an entrepreneur. He knows nothing of that. All he ever does is wake up, turn on the microphone and the camera, and he gets a few quatches from um, 
Say this, I'll give you 5,000 kwacha. Say this, I'll give you X amount of money. That's all he ever does. So he cannot be HH's peer. He can't. But in his mind, he thinks he's, he's HH's peer, which he's not. I applaud Tayali's neck for carrying his empty head. It's not easy. Here, here, brother. If I, let's drink to that. Goodness, let's drink to that. That's worth drinking to. All righty, guys, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Go watch the news. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. God bless. Good night. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.